Welcome to the Lookout on Outlook series, brought to you by the University of Wisconsin River Falls Division of Technology Services Teaching and Learning Technologies team. Today we're going to talk about a tip within Outlook about using the online archive tool. We're going to review three different versions, Outlook Office 2010, Outlook Office 2011 for Mac, and OWA, which is the online web app. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the uh, Windows version. So we open up the Windows version and we can see that in the left side we show a list of our folders. That is our main mailbox folders. If I scroll all the way down here, at the bottom we will see archive with your name on it. Why do we want to archive? First of all, there's a quota set up on your mailbox within UWRF and that quota is two gigabytes so you're allowed two gigabytes of mail storage up in this area any of these folders and you're also allowed one gigabyte of storage down here in your online archive what happens is that if you get to 800 megabyte within the um, storage up here you'll start getting messages you might get a little um, banner up here that says you're close to quota over quota and to reduce your quota and things like that and then at 1.8 gigabyte you would not be able to send or receive any email so you want to watch your quota um, usage and if you start getting messages like that there's a couple things you can do you can come down to the archive here and I could create another folder that is called exactly the same thing as what I have up here just by right clicking on um, this area here and say new folder or I can go to one of these folders up here. Let's take my S app folder, click on that, and um, let's go into this policy. I can click on policy, and I'll zoom this up here for a little bit, and you can see that there's a folder policy and an online policy. And I want to be able to set the online policy. I don't want to set the folder policy, and because what the folder policy will do is will delete items that will only allow me to set things for deletion. So I want to set the online archive saying that if I use a policy and use this down arrow here, I could set it so that it could um, read the uh, email in there and abide by the policy that I set that would say move things that are older than six months or older than a year or two or three years. However, I set that folder policy on that. And that's what I would choose to do. And then if I close this, when the um, email is backed up every night and I start up my email the next morning, it would read the policies that I have on these folders. And if there's anything in there that says archive to a certain date, it will automatically move the folder and the contents down into this area below the archive. Let's see what that looks like in the Mac version. I'm going to bring up the Mac version here. Unfortunately, this is Office 2011 on a Mac, and I do not see an online archive folder down here anyway. There's my folders that I've got listed here, but I don't see any of the um, online archive. So if you're using a Mac version, what you're going to do, want to do is open up a web browser, and we're going to come into the folders here, and below the folders on my left side here, below my name, a list of all my folders I will see online archive so whether you're Mac or Windows you can use the OWA and you can see the online archive tool within this and the way to archive them here would be let's select one of these folders here so I have this wow folder I could highlight that right click on that and then say archive policy and I get a list down here and if I'll zoom this up, you can see that there's one month to six months to two, three, five years. So I could choose any policy that I want, and then I would see a little check mark right along here. And um, that would be the policy that would be followed by the system and archive my email um, every night. So I can do that within OWA that way. Let's go back to the Windows version here. And again, if you want to um, then see your archive in, uh, information, you can come into these folders below here. I can access this through OWA or the Windows. And those are some of the reasons why you want to archive, and or some of the ways you can archive. Some of the reasons you want to archive would be to continue to stay under your quota. 
um, realize that those folders in the archive area are backed up. We do not recommend that you archive locally on your hard drive or on a flash drive because um, dots cannot be responsible for retrieving data that is not backed up on the server um, within our, our archive areas here. And again, some of the best policy if you're not archiving to a folder is actually to use the um, delete key. I can delete things and delete my um, deleted items. Things will stay in the trash here for up to 14 days and they will automatically be removed. I can right click on this and then I can say empty folder that will delete it automatically or I can use the special delete key on my keyboard and that works just as well. Another thing to be aware of is in your sent items those pile up pretty easily so you may want to be able to look in there every once in a while and clean that out and in your sent folder and again you can archive those into um, named sent folders if you want to and there you have it